Ami Chakrabarti to the House of Lords. Uh, some would suggest, uh, given that the, uh, uh, the report that she produced into anti-Semitism within the Labour Party uh, was roundly criticised by the British community, uh, that perhaps even if Jeremy Corbyn really wanted uh, Ms Chakrabarti uh, to take her seat in the House of Lords, he might have better waited a little while. Well, I think Shami Chakrabarti has made a mistake. She should have been in the House of Commons uh, rather than the House of Lords because she would have made a very, very big contribution. She's only been in the Labour Party for a short while. So I welcome her uh, appointment to Parliament, though to the wrong house. But let me say this. On the anti-Semitism inquiry, we were told that this was an independent inquiry. And if it transpires that Shami Chakrabarti was offered her peerage before she was appointed or during the time she was appointed to conduct this inquiry, then we needed to have been told by Mr Corbyn when he appeared before us. So I've actually written to her today, um, lots of letter writing, I'm afraid, um, because it's August, uh, asking her when she was offered uh, this peerage, because it does bear on the inquiry that we have concluded, but we've not just reported on. But she is a very worthy candidate for either House of Parliament. However, since she is now known for the anti-Semitism inquiry, it will actually severely prejudice that inquiry if it turns out she was offered the peerage in order to conduct the inquiry or during the inquiry. And I'm sure when I write to her, she will be very open and transparent with the reply because we've not concluded our report yet. We want to include her response in our report because it then questions the independence of this inquiry. I mean, in a sense, Mr. Vazin, as I think you appear to be suggesting, Shami Chakrabarti's qualifications for a seat in the House of Lords are, are, are neither here nor there. Uh, whether or not she was lent on uh, for, the report, uh, for that anti Semitism report, and we certainly have no evidence of that, there is the sense that there could be bias here, that it doesn't look good. I mean, Jeremy Corbyn calling for a new kind of politics, this doesn't feel like it. Well, um, I'm very pleased that Jeremy Corbyn, unlike other party leaders, have decided uh, to appoint an ethnic minority uh, person to the House of Lords. I was quite critical of Ed Miliband's last um, honours list, which included no ethnic minorities. She's very suitably qualified to be either in the Commons or the Lords. I preferred for her to be with me in the House of Commons. She would have done a fantastic job. The issue is this. If she was conducting an independent inquiry into anti-Semitism for the Labour Party, if she was offered a peerage before she conducted that inquiry, during or immediately after, or at the time when Mr Corbyn gave evidence to our committee, when she was in the committee room, passing him notes, that is important to the committee in terms of the independence of the report. Her qualifications are, you know, stellar. She should be in Parliament. But if it's because of the work she's done on this inquiry, and if it was offered in order for her to complete this inquiry, then we just need to know so we can reflect that in the report that we are writing and which we are concluding in early September. And, you know, I'm sure she will tell us when I write to her. Uh, well, like you, we await uh, Ms Chakrabarti's response to your letter with great interest. Uh, Keith Vaz, thank you very much for joining us on Sky News.